Rock on with rock hard riffs. Right on, Rocky. This is Rock Hard Riffs, the rock and roll guitar channel for the self-taught. Thanks for joining us. If you happen to be new to our channel, take a peek in our playlists real quick. We do all kinds of stuff, heavy metal to ambient music, everything in between, how to play songs, technique like we're going over today. If you like what we do, please subscribe. We'd really appreciate that. So today we're going over what I call uh, next level pinch harmonics. Now, uh, you know, pinch harmonics are one of those things that just, as an electric guitar player, you just stumble on when you're a beginner, pretty much, that you hear that, that squealing, like, whoa, where'd that come from? How'd I do that? So that's what we're going to talk about in this video, except we're going to take it to the next level. First, let's talk about one thing, and that's the guitar pick. Now, what I use, guys, are these Dunlop Max Grip Carbon Fiber Jazz 3 picks. They come to a fairly decent point, uh, and they grip pretty well. But what I do with them is I take a nail file and I sharpen it quite a bit. And that's one of my little tricks. Now everybody has their own way of doing technique. One of the ways that I get maximum pinch harmonics is with a very sharp pick. And I just barely use the tip of that pick. I figure the less surface area I use, the faster I can be. And also the closer the flesh of my thumb is, to the pick when you do your pinch harmonic. Now we're not going to go over that, you, should, you probably already know that and this is next level, right? So anyway, that's the pick. So another thing on the list there guys is to have some pretty decent pickups, some hot pickups. Now, these happen to be the DiMarzio X2N pickups, these are the hottest pickups that DiMarzio makes. It's just two giant magnets as you can see on there. So these are really hot pickups but they sound fantastic clean too. But anyway, so that is important. The next really important thing is that these are set up properly. I have this bad habit, I guess, or a tendency to somehow get my pickups out of adjustment. So my hand is on there so much, whichever side it is, that it turns the little screw, the height screw, for the pickups. Even though it might just be like a half a turn, I turn it, or whatever it is, it gets the thing out of line. In fact, just before I was going to make this video, and I noticed that the high end, it was losing my high end. Is that I thought, do I need to change strings already? I just changed them. No, I took a look at it, and guess what? My pickups were out of alignment. They were all cockeyed, like this. So I just took my little screwdriver there and adjusted them, and boom, right back where we should be. So that's important. You might want to check your pickups. Okay, guys, so let's get into the pinch harmonics. We're going to use chords. It's not that difficult. You just kind of rake your finger or your thumb and pick across the strings. Just like you would do that. But now we're going to do it with a chord, but we're going to start it with two strings first. Let's start that way. Let's take that little docking uh, thing that I was playing in the beginning and let's work with that. Okay? So we have our pinky finger on the second string at the fifth fret, our index finger, second fret, third string. Okay? So we just go... Then you just lift the pinky and put down the third finger at the fourth fret. Let's start with that again. And as you can tell, I'm, uh, I'm muting it a little bit with my right hand. Okay? Now let's add a little bit of pinch harmonic to it. Right? So I use it more like an accent. Kind of like the condiment, like ketchup and mustard or something. It just gives that extra little kick. To the flavor of what you're doing, right? So it's not, I don't use this constantly screaming the whole time, but as an accentuation. So again. Okay, now let's go to the next part. I know I fret this kind of weird, but I do it because of economy of motion. Let's take our ring and pinky finger, fifth fret, fourth and third string. Then my middle finger is down the whole time on the fourth fret of the third string. So I'm just going to lift my pinky. Like that. Okay? So let's start at the beginning. Again, 
melody. You can I'm sure you know by now that the more you move your hand up and down the string, you get a different, slightly different tone. So again, let's start. From here, third finger, I slide up from the sixth string, from the G to an A. Okay. Then I hit the the uh, fifth string at the fifth fret. Okay, so slide up. Then th uh, the third fret of the sixth and fifth string. Then again, the fifth fret of the sixth and the fifth. Again. Okay, we'll add pitch harmonics to it in just a second. Just get used to that. Okay, so let's take it from the beginning. the third fret of the fourth string. We're here at the uh, fifth fret of the third string. So it's an F. Okay, so it goes F. Now my index finger is at the second fret of the third string. Middle finger down at the third fret of the second string. Okay, so harmonics on those chords too. They A, F, that. So guys, that's what I would call next level pinch harmonics going from single string accidents, right, from where you're your beginner, then you get to learn to use it a little bit more, and more, and more, and more. Now, this will kind of tend to shred your thumb a bit. Uh, I have a big old callus there on the side of my thumb from use from doing that, and it's just from the strings, right? There's a whole lot of flesh touching strings when you're doing that, so get uh, be prepared for that. You might tear up your thumb a bit, but hey, it's all part of guitar, right? Got to work through it. Alright guys, we really appreciate you watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next video.